In today's tutorial, we're going to create this little Christmas present. So open up a new file, press A to select all, X and delete, and add a cube. With this cube selected, tab into edit mode, and go to edge select. Press Ctrl and R to add a loop cut and place it about here. Press Z to go into wireframe mode and select these edges. Press E and right click to release in place and then S and Shift and Z and scale this lid up a little bit. We'll add another looped cut by pressing Ctrl and R and place it here. Press P to separate by selection and let's rename the two items. Hide the ribbon and press Alt and select this edge loop and X and dissolve. Tab out of edit mode and select the ribbon and then tab back into edit mode. And let's bevel the edges. Press A to select all and deselect these two. Press Ctrl Shift to bevel and roll your mouse wheel to add some more segments. Press A to select all and Shift and D to duplicate and set and 90 to rotate. Tab out of edit mode and bring back the box. Right click on the ribbon and turn it into a curve. Shift and A and let's add a rectangle. Move it over here and scale it down on the Y and X axis. Now select your ribbon, go to the data properties, geometry and object and select a rectangle. Oh, that looks a bit weird. <laughs> okay, no need to panic. Let's scale down the rectangle until it fits the box and then scale it up on the X axis by pressing S and X. And go for a width you like. I'm gonna go with something like this. Next, we'll add some modifiers to the ribbon. So go to modifiers, add bevel, and go with something like this. We'll shade the ribbon smooth, and let's add a solidify modifier as well. Next, we'll add the bow. So select your box, press tab to go into edit mode, press three on your numpad, and then select the top face. Press shift and S, moves cursor to selected. Then press shift and A and add a path curve. Press 1 to go into front view and tab into edit mode and let's move the path no uh, curve down here. Let's move these vertices around by selecting each and one of them and press G and move. It's important to be in front view while you do this, otherwise you might get a little bit of a cricket result. Just arrange them around until you get a result you're happy with and if you want to add more vertices you can press E to extrude. Once you're happy with the shape, Tap back out of edit mode and select data, geometry and object and add the rectangle. Tap back into edit mode and press O and then scale these vertices by selecting them and press Alt and S. You can roll your mouse wheel to increase or decrease the size of the circle of influence. Tap back out of edit mode and with the curve selected, hold down control and select the ribbon. And then let's copy these modifiers. Let's duplicate this by pressing Shift and D and set 180 to rotate it 180 degrees. Now you can change the shape of the loops if you want to. Next, let's add a circle curve. Make sure to choose this one, not the one down here. Press R, Y, and 90 to rotate the circle. And then tap into edit mode and scale it down. As you can see, mine's looking crooked. That's because I forgot to turn off proportional editing before scaling it down. So I'm pressing Ctrl and Z a few times to go back and then retracing my steps. But this time by pressing O first. Let's add some geometry to this as well by going to data and object and select the rectangle. As you can see, the circle needs to be turned around. So make sure to select it and tab into edit mode. Press N on your keyboard to get this little menu and then change the tilt to 90. And then you can scale the little circle up or down if you want. I also want to move it up just a little bit. And remember you can select the vertex and then press Alt and S and scale it up or down. Let's add another path curve again. Tab into edit mode and move it around by pressing G. And then next, let's just move the vertices around until you get a shape that you're happy with. And remember, this can always be changed later. If you want to make the ribbon longer, you can press E to extrude. When you're happy with the shape, tab out of edit mode 
and select data properties and geometry and object and select a rectangle again. We're going to copy the modifiers as we did before. I want to change the shape a little bit, so I'm tabbing back into edit mode, selecting some vertices and clicking O for proportional editing and then Alt and S to scale. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to rotate this by pressing R and set to rotate on the set axis. And I'm going to place it somewhere like here. And then let's press Shift and D and duplicate R and set to rotate and move it to somewhere around here. Select all the parts of the bow by holding down Shift and click on them. And then press R and set and rotate until you're happy with the placement. I've just added some basic materials and some HDRI lighting, and this is my result. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, bye!